Our adventure today takes us to the B&O Railroad Museum in Baltimore, Maryland. I went at the suggestion of my friend Randy, who actually came and picked me up and purchased tickets to the museum. We had a fantastic visit and it was great to catch up with my friend. I really enjoyed the architecture of this museum. And as you'll see in the video, the building is just absolutely beautiful, especially the roundhouse. Check out the construction of this place. This is one of the trains they have in the roundhouse. The York, wow. The Tom Thumb. <laughs> First American built steam engine. Wow, that is awesome. Crab and grasshoppers. It's got designed with the low center of gravity for pulling ability. Check out these cars. Man, it's like a wagon, a covered wagon on rails. This is called a clearance car. Things are numbered so they can know at what elevation and they need to cut off the tunnel. We need to get one of these for our RV so that when we drive through low hanging branches, we can tell when we're gonna hit. Look, they're, so it pulls in, then they know. they're numbered around the car. See, if these things go forward, they know that it got it goes Or goes back, I assume they extend them out and then if they if are back, if it folds back they know which one they record how far back it went and which number it is that's pretty cool people think of the most amazing this things 1904 the civil engineers designed this from 1904 wow that's pretty cool design simple but effective Check out that train. I've never, never seen one designed like that. Check this out, this engine. It's a steam engine. But it is enormous. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of this thing. And it's very modern looking. Four ninety. Where's the Wow? It is huge. This would be the coal car. Oh, look at these. Diesel electrics. Streamlined diesel electrics. The number 51. 
And this one is the 4500 Mikado. This one was built in 37. Wow. This is the Mikado, the 4500. See if we can see what these, see if there's a plaque on this engine. I don't see one telling us what it is. Oh wait, here it is, I think. Nope. This is a number 43 fireless locomotive. Number four. You can still smell the oil and the grease and everything else in here. Look at the size of these engines. Holy cow. <laughs> See the valves inside with this mirror. Pretty good size flywheel, I would say. This is a cutaway of the 5300 known as the President Washington. Let's go up these stairs. Let's see where this takes us. I get to see inside the engine. Cool. Oh, wow. That would be uh, something to learn how to operate. Look at that. It's all rusted out. I'm sure they've got lots of wear and tear on them over the years. Oh, we get to go in this one. <laughs> Look at the coal box. Oh, it's got an auger at the bottom. Well, I'm going to finally get to drive a train. This is what I was meant to do in life right here. How much fun would this be? It'd be fun for a little while and then it'd get hot. And... Man, look at the controls. I'd rather drive from over here on this side.
not a lot of room. You can't see very good. Look at the view out the front. This is a better spot. There's the firebox. It's probably not very visible to you on the camera. Get a better view of these diesel electrics from up here. Look at the size of this thing. Holy cow. Look at the drive assembly. A valve. There's the piston or the steam chamber. You can see the rod there. I can't see the connecting rod to the piston though. There's a front trucks. Did you see this car with the train wheels over here? Uh, not yet. I don't know what this is. Check out, check out this inspection car. It's a converted car that they put train wheels on to ride on the track. This is a, a what looks like a crane car. This one doesn't look like it runs under its own power based on the way it's on a double set of wheels connected to that car. See, that's not, oh yeah, that's, that's not one you can drive yourself. The tracks. train. Well, no, I think it's I think it's self-powered because those are the drive wheels back there. Were they? Did these have rubber on them? No, they're metal. This is a model railroad outdoors of the museum. <laughs> Check it out. That's cool. You can see the freight cars loaded with what appears to be rock or something. <laughs> Each little section has its own button to turn it on and off. <laughs> That's too much. Mm -hmm.